the subatomic particles, just now we have learned that there are three subatomic particles, right? Okay, proton, neutron, and electrons. Huh? Now, in our syllabus, you need to know a few things about them. The, their symbol, their relative charge, and uh, their relative mass. Huh? Okay. Uh, for protons, we uh, the symbol is P, neutron is N, and electron is E. So this simple, right? Okay. Uh, for proton, its relative charge is a uh, positive one. This is not the actual charge, uh, just the relative charge, uh, relative charge. And the relative charge of neutron is zero, means that it's neutral, okay? And the relative charge of electron is negative one. And uh, for the mass, the relative mass of proton is one, neutron is uh, one, and electron is uh, one over uh, 1840 means that the mass of electron uh, the mass of the electron is much 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 smaller than the mass of neutrons and protons the charge of the particles uh, it depends on the number of proton and electron just now we learned that the charge of proton is positive one right okay charge of uh, proton is positive one the charge of proton uh, is positive one positive one and the charge of electron is negative one right okay let's say in an atoms there there are three protons and three electrons three proton three electrons uh. if if uh, there are three protons uh, the charge of the three protons will become positive three right okay three proton uh, so the charge will become positive three each one is positive one uh. so positive three and then um, for the three electrons the charge will be negative three yeah? negative three as a result okay the charge of the 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 charge of these atoms will become zero okay positive three plus negative three yeah? the charge will become zero so that is how we determine the charge yeah? we see uh, how many protons and how many electrons inside uh, the particles then we can uh, calculate the charge let me give you a few more examples yeah? okay this one this atom it has uh, five proton and uh, two electrons. So what's the charge of this, this uh, particles? Three. Positive three or negative? Three? Positive three. Okay, that's correct. That's correct. Huh? It's positive three. Okay. How about this one? Nine proton, one electrons. Negative one, right? Okay. It's negative is because more elect there, there are more electrons than proton. Huh? It has ten electrons, but just nine proton only. Huh? So the charge is negative, and there is one electron more than proton. Huh? So therefore, the charge is negative one. Okay. You can also do it this way, okay? Uh, nine protons, so the charge is positive nine. And then uh, 10 electron, the charge is negative 10, okay? And then you take a uh, positive nine, positive nine plus a uh, negative 10, uh, then the sum will be negative one, right? So the charge is negative one, okay? Next, 11 proton, 10 electrons, what's the charge? Positive one, okay? Positive one, that's correct. How about this one? 16 proton 18 electron the charge is negative 2 that's right that's correct negative 2 uh. this one 17 proton 18 electron charge is negative 1 that's correct that's correct and uh the last one 20 protons 18 electrons the charge will be negative 2 uh. Uh, sorry positive 2 uh. positive 2 okay so that's how we determine the charge so a neutral atoms uh, it contains same number of electrons and uh, protons the number of electrons and protons must, must be the same. But if the number of protons is greater than the number of electrons, then the particle is positively charged. More proton than electron is positive. And uh, inversely, if the number of proton is... Uh, okay, I think they give you the same thing, right? Let's do some corrections. If the number of electron is greater... So in your notes, uh, do some corrections. So if the number of electrons is greater than the number of protons... The particle is negatively charged. Eh? Negatively charged. Okay, so that's the conclusions. Mm -hmm.